Okay, there were a couple of, couple of three things I forgot to mention in the first video that I wanted to bring up. One of them is uh, the fact that I hear a lot, well, how in the world do you get such amazing macros? What kind of macro lens do you use and stuff like that? And I just have to tell people, you know, uh, I just use a, a basic Nikon camera with a extremely basic 18 55 kit lens that normally comes for free in any camera kit and it's fun and the challenge of, of not spending mega bucks for lenses and stuff like that that really adds a lot of uh, fun to it for me and uh, I just crop pictures extremely uh, close and stuff like that everybody thinks that you know I got a, a, a $750 macro lens or something well you don't have to have that kind of gear you, you can go with the basics like I do and you'll get good results if you're you're determined I'm extremely determined and hard-headed especially with nature photography uh, I have friends that hike with me sometimes they'll go by we'll find a caterpillar they'll take one shot or two and move on then later on they say well dang my picture sucks well you know I stood there for 20 or 30 minutes if need be uh, shooting 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 and I, I live by the uh, preview monitor on the back of the camera and until I see the exact shot that I really wanted I won't leave that could be way down the trail half mile down the trail and I'm still shooting that one caterpillar but by golly I got the shot that they wish they had so that's just something to I wanted to mention then two uh I uh will put down below the link to my Flickr if anybody wants to check that out and if you have an extremely rainy day, you can check out all 20,000 shots. I've had actually had people that did that, and I feel very sorry for them, but they hung in. Somehow, I can't even imagine. But uh, if you go to my Flickr, if you choose to, and you'll see up at the top there's a category that says album. So you can click on that, and if you want to just check out my caterpillars or my birds or, or any variety of, of uh, subjects, uh, all those pictures will be in those albums. And uh, so anyway, and I also wanted to point out that the caterpillar uh, that's on my, uh, the thumbnail on the first video, that's uh, a hickory horned devil, uh, which is a uh, moth uh, caterpillar. The uh, It becomes the imperial moth. And it's the largest caterpillar in North America. It's uh, over six inches long. It's, it's as big as a hot dog. And they look like a Japanese dragon. And they're absolutely the most fascinating caterpillar that we find. And uh, back about four years ago, up at Splinter Hill, which is a, a prime place for us for caterpillars, we actually found 17 that summer in different stages. They're different instars when they molt from one to the other, and they change colors, and it's just it was just the most amazing experience to, to find so many, where other years, like last year, only found one. So you never know about nature. And I always tell myself, well, you won't know until you go, so I go. <laughs> but anyway, God bless you. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your pipes. Take care. Bye.